Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we're doing a full body yoga for flexibility practice. So find just a little bit of space to move. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get started. So we're gonna to begin today sitting down so you can find a nice comfy seat. And I want you to place your hands on your knees. So take a nice big inhale here and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, start to turn your upper body to face the right side for a twist. Taking another breath in here, sit a little taller. Exhale, hold it, twist. One more breath in and out. Awesome, you guys. Inhale brings you back to face the front. Exhale to the left side. Just a nice gentle twist. Nice long spine as you breathe in. And out. One more breath here. Hmm. Nice, you guys. Using an inhale, bringing yourself back to face the front. We're just going to rest our fingertips on the floor beside us. And use a big breath in. Reach your right arm up for the ceiling. And you can lean over for a side stretch. So good. Nice big inhale, bringing yourself back up. Reset and inhale as you reach the left arm up. Try to touch the ceiling or the sky above you and lean over to the side. Awesome, you guys. Use a big inhale, lifting yourself all the way back up. A little rock, a little wiggle side to side if you need it. We're going to move on to our hands and knees, table, top position. Uh, 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 so finding your hands and knees here, let's reach our arms out in front. But instead of coming straight down into our puppy dog, I want you to walk both of your hands over to the left side. Reach, maybe walk your fingertips a little further forwards and then lower your forehead down. So nice long arms here. Trying to find a stretch through that right arm mostly, maybe even into the side of your body, keeping your hips nice and high. Awesome, you guys, using an inhale, starting to lift yourself back up. Walk your hands back forwards and all the way to the right side. Walk those fingertips a little further. You're nice and stretched out through the upper body here. And then lower your forehead as low as you can. Awesome job, you guys. Using an inhale, start to lift back up, walking your hands back to the middle of your mat, and then you can actually walk your hands all the way back in underneath your shoulders. So we're going to start to tuck our toes under. Tuck your toes under, take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, lift up into downward facing dog. Feel free to dig your dog for a nice little walk here. If you want to pedal the feet, bend the knees, breathe a little deeper. Starting to settle in. And then just start to heel toe, and I mean step your feet together. Using an inhale, start to lift your right foot. It can be a little, it can be a lot. And exhale, we're going to pull that foot all the way forwards between our hands. Step it down and then lower your back knee for a lunge. So untucking those back toes, sinking those hips forward, trying to find that hip flexor, the top of that left quad. You can keep your hands down on the mat. But if you're able, start to lift the chest up. Lift that chest up. You can rest your hands on your knee or we're going to add a little side stretching into this lunge. So keep your right hand on your knee to start here. Nice big inhale. That left arm's coming out to the side and then you can lean over. Nice, you guys. Use an inhale. Come back up through center. Bring your left hand to your knee. Inhale. Reach your right arm out to the side. Lean on over. 
Beautiful, and using an inhale, come back, right hand to the knee, inhale, left arm up, lean over to that side, maybe the right fingertips wanna find the floor beside you. Awesome, use a nice big inhale, lift yourself back up, and lower your hands to the mat. We're gonna tuck our back toes underneath, Take an inhale, look forwards if you can, and an exhale, step your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again. Nice long spine, stick your butt out, try and stretch the back of your legs. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands, walk your feet all the way back. Downward facing dog. Just here for a breath or two. Or maybe three. <sighs> so settle in. You can start to walk your feet back together. Using an inhale. That left foot's going to lift this time. And exhale. Send it forwards. Lower your back knee. And then set up that lunge. So untuck your back toes. Find your balance. While you find that Nice hip stretch on that right side. And if it feels good, if you lifted the chest last time, lift on up. Find your balance again. <sighs> nice job, you guys. If you want to add those side stretches, let's keep the left hand down, down this time. Use an inhale, sweeping the right arm up and over. So good, use an inhale, coming back up. Right hand down to the knee, inhale. Left arm up. And back up. Awesome, you guys, one more. Inhale, the right arm up. And maybe the left fingertips wanna find the floor this time. Maybe not. <laughs> and use an inhale, lifting yourself back up. Awesome, you guys. And exhale, lower your hands back down. You can start to tuck the back toes under. Take an inhale as you gaze forwards. And exhale, back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale for that half lift. Nice long spine here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again. Exhale, folding forwards. Awesome job, you guys. Step your feet back. Downward facing dog. Just a few breaths. Slow it down. One more inhale. And then exhale. Lower your knees all the way to your mat. Cross your ankles. Have a seat, extending your legs out in front of you. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to hang on to the back of our legs, just making sure I've got space behind me. Hang on to the back of your legs, and we're just gonna rock back nice and slow, let the feet lift, and then rock all the way back up. Might be easy, might be really hard. We're just doing three rocks, and then we're gonna end up all the way on our back. So if you get down and you can't get back up, you can just stay there. <laughs> and if you keep popping up, roll back down one more time, extending your legs out nice and long here. We're gonna reach our arms up above our head and we're gonna start to shimmy our shoulders over towards the left side. So keep your hips as they are, move your shoulders, reach your arms above your head if you haven't already. And then you can add your legs, moving your legs over towards the left banana. I like to cross my right foot over the left just to hold my legs in place. Feeling this almost everywhere. You know, feel this where you're nice and tight today. So that can be through the legs, it can be through the hips, the obliques, the chest, the shoulders, the arms. Awesome, you guys. I really, really enjoy this pose. <laughs> We're going to start to come back, though. So 
Maybe starting with the legs and then move the shoulders. Just find your way back into a straight line. We're just trying to curve the body in some sort of banana shape, some sort of U shape. Uh, uh, uh. And when you feel good to switch, I like to start with my shoulders so your hips aren't moving in this one. They stay nice and solid. And then you can add your legs. Sometimes you only need to do one upper body or lower body to get a good stretch. Awesome work, you guys. Slowly, let's start to come back. Uh, shimmy back into that straight line. And then we're going to start to, we'll keep our left leg out straight and pull your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a nice big hug. You can stay here if you want to twist. Pull that knee across your body. Uh, let that right hip lift off of the mat if it wants to, but keep the right shoulder down. Right hip can lift, but uh, right shoulder needs to stay down. Awesome job, you guys. Using an inhale, bring your knee back up. Drop that right hip down, hug it towards your chest. And then let that leg go. Start to pull your left knee in, giving it a nice big hug. Hmm, staying here or finding the twist. Remember the left hip can lift. I encourage the left hip to lift, but the left shoulder stays down. Awesome job, you guys. Use an inhale, lift that leg all the way back up. Hug it in towards your chest, and then you can start to let it go. Extending both of your legs out to the edges of your mat. Resting your arms at your sides, turning your palms to face up. Hmm. And then we're just going to turn our chin over towards the left shoulder. See if you can touch your chin to your shoulder. And use an inhale, lift it back up. Exhale to the right shoulder. Awesome, you guys. Use an inhale, lift your chin back up. We have made our way in to Shavasana. As always, I encourage you guys to stay here for as long as you have time for. 
and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.